right, folks. Uh, recently, a young man that we have had on this show before a very impressive young man from our area was named to Team USA for 2014 uh, via the national team trials in Oklahoma City. I am talking about Stanton Collins. He is a kayaker who was trained at Lanier Canoe and Kayak Center. He, along with three other area athletes, named to uh, the Team USA for 2014. He's going to compete in the World Cup 2, World Cup 3, uh, the former being in the Czech Republic, the latter in Hungary. And he joins us now via the phone lines. Stanton, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Uh, no problem. Uh, so you're leaving for Europe tomorrow. Are you excited about that? Are you done packing? <laughs> I haven't even started packing. <laughs> you haven't started packing. How long are you? How long are you going to be in Europe? Uh, just about three months. Three months, and you haven't started packing yet. <laughs> no, I putting off a little bit too. Yeah, you are. You're procrastinating a little bit, buddy. I'm going to tell you that. But okay, listen. First and foremost, before we get to the actual X's and O's of of your kayaking ability. Uh, let's go through what you need to pack. Um, are you going to be on the water a lot? Because then you don't need a whole lot of street clothes, right? Yeah, that's most of most of my bags just going to be my paddling gear. Um, I have a few, I have a few bags of clothes to uh, go out in, but most. Most of it's just going to be paddling stuff. Ah, uh, you don't need to go out. You need to stay focused on those World Cups, Stanton. Let's just go ahead and say that. And final, final thing about you actually leaving tomorrow. Um, if your mom's out there listening, are you going to miss her? Yeah, yeah, I'll miss her. Okay, well, good. That's really sweet of you, Stanton. We're glad that you said that. Now, first up is is the World Cup two, and then the World Cup three. Am I am I right about that? So you're going to the Czech Republic uh, first. Where are you actually headed to? Well, I. I'm actually not competing in uh, World Cup two because okay. my um, team boat partner is is not is not going to be done with classes until after World Cup two. Uh. Um, so I will be in World Cup three in Hungary, and then um, the under twenty three World uh, World Championships later on. And that's going to be in Hungary as well. Yeah, the, the World Cup three U U twenty three World Championships in in the same uh, not only the same country in the same city as well. And now, Stanton, yeah. where are you flying out to tomorrow? Is there any training involved here? Oh yeah, uh, that's most of the trip is just going to be training. I'm getting out. I'm going out to um, Timisoara, Romania, which is just about two hours outside of Zagreb, Hungary, where the actual race is going to be held. Um, and that's where we're going to train for the next three months. You're you're no stranger to traveling overseas. Uh, you've been doing this uh, really your entire adolescent life. But do you get nervous at all about going to to these new countries and, and training and competing? Do you get nervous at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit, uh, especially when I get a, a, a new place. Um, I, I, every country obviously has its own kind of little customs and just. Little things you got to figure out before you can really settle in. Um, uh, luckily, I've been to both Romania and, Hung and Hungary several times before, so um, it's not not going to be too difficult for me this time. Ah, the world traveler. Add that to the list of things Stanton <laughs> Collins is. We are speaking with the new Team USA member for 2014. Uh, he'll be competing in the World Cup 3 in Hungary, the U U23 World Championships in, in Hungary as well. What was it like in Oklahoma City uh, for the for the national team trials, Stanton? What was just the whole atmosphere like and then the competition? Uh, well, um, it it was good. Uh, the The competition is definitely getting more difficult. Um, getting closer to Olympics year, uh, more and more people are coming out trying to um, kind of solidify a spot. But uh, I mean, things went pretty well. The conditions were kind of rough, but I mean, everybody has the same conditions, so yeah, uh, it, it was good. It was good. I know that obviously you make the Olympic team by time, uh, not necessarily, uh, you know, whether you're first, second, or third. It's all based on 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 your time. And so, yeah. do you have your sights set on 2016? Is that a reality for you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for it in the uh, in a team boat. And who uh, when you, when you say team boat, explain that to the listeners, Stanton. So um, we have. There's three three events basically that you can be in. 
There's the K1, which is just a single kayak, uh, just you paddle down the course. Then you have the K2, which is two-man kayak. And then you have the K4, which is the four-man kayak. So the team boats are the K2 and the K4. Now, you and Chris Miller finished first in the in the 1,000 in the, in the, in the K2. Is, is that who yeah. can't join you for the World Cup, too? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, because he's finishing up classes, and good for him. Education, education, <laughs> most definitely um, comes first. So you're going to be competing in 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 the in the team. It, what's the difference? And and you've have you ever done just the K ones? Have you ever done that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've done uh, only uh, at a world championship event. I've yeah. only done it uh, for the marathon world championships. Um, I've never done it for a sprint world championships. Do you do you is that something you aspire to do? Um, yeah, it, it it'll take a lot more training if I do go in the single boat in the K one. Um, it'll uh, it'll probably have to wait until twenty twenty, but um, but for right now I'm just focusing on the team boats because that's what I'm good at right now. So focusing in on that. Talk about the other guys who made it. Tim Hornsby, obviously, your your K two guy, and, and Chris Miller and, and Ian Ross. Uh, what's the camaraderie yeah. like between between you and those three other guys? Uh, I, mean, I mean, we all love each other, and, and all, that's, all of us have been kind of in the same community of paddlers for most of our lives. We, I mean, I mean it's it, it's a lot of fun being over there with them. It's, it's great um, that so many people from the LCKC are, are making the team uh, because um, these are people I train with every day, I uh, see every day, and um, I mean, we're, we're just all good friends over there. Fantastic. Stanton Collins, folks, he's a new member to Team USA for 2014. Once again, he's going to comp- be competing uh, overseas in World Cup 3 in the U23 World Championship. Stanton, we wish you the best of luck. You know that I'll be hitting up your cell phone as soon as you get back uh, to America to talk about your experiences overseas. But we're proud of you. Best of luck to you and safe travels. All right, thank you. Absolutely. Stanton Collins, folks. He's an impressive young man. I love talking to him. Can't wait till we talk to him again. We'll see. Maybe he'll be a world champion, right? Maybe he'll be a World Cup winner. That'd be, I mean, that'd, that'd be decent, right? That'd be decent. Yeah. He could do better, I guess. 15 minutes after 7 o'clock, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Randy Smith is going to join us to talk about a special event that North Hall is putting on to send former football coach Bob Christmas on his way. You're going to want to get involved, folks, so come back and join us. This is Game On on WDUN.